aha moment for, for the super path approach was when I saw my very first patient, my very first case, walk into my office two weeks later holding his cane. He had a big smile on his face, he was very excited, and that to me uh, made me very excited about the procedure and realized that we were onto something good. Patient actually came back last year, uh, no, six months ago, to have his other side done and was as happy with his second hip as he was with the first one. What excites me most about Superpath is the, um, the pleased look that the uh, patient gives you when, when you see him back in the office, the realization that they're now back to an active lifestyle, they're not living in pain, uh, they've had a, a, a rapid recovery, they don't have hip restrictions, which um, is something that most of them have heard about prior to undergoing hip replacement surgery from someone at some point, and to realize that they can live their life without those restrictions uh, and to do it in a pain-free way uh, is just uh, phenomenal to experience. So it is, it is really about the patients. I think a fun surgery is a surgery that I can do on somebody and they come back and they're so happy and it can be life changing. And hip replacements is that type of surgery. And Superpath to me is the way I want my hip done. I think what uh, excites me most about the PATH technique is the fact that it should be accessible to any surgeon doing hip replacement today. Uh, it has the potential to improve anybody's hip replacement uh, without the risk. It's an opportunity to use instrumentation that uh, is more precise than uh, I think most conventional instrumentation that surgeons are used to. It's a way to phase in to a soft tissue sparing operation that should provide uh, dramatically improved results. It's an opportunity for surgeons to participate in benchmarking. A bundled payment system that is threatening to many should be welcome with the ability for surgeons to just get in step with an improved operation that allows them to improve outcomes. And uh, I think it would be very satisfying for surgeons to be able to adopt a technique that they can learn gradually and at their own pace. I think what's most exciting to me about the superpath technique is I feel like we're on the verge of, of, a, of a massive paradigm shift in hip replacement. I think hip replacement traditionally has been a geriatric procedure, and I think with newer, um, newer implants, especially with newer revision technology that's out there, we're realizing that the envelope for, for treatment is opening into the younger patient population. We're treating primarily baby boomers today, but that's starting to open up into you know, generation X and Yers and even into millennials if necessary. And what that means for us is that we have to be better at what we do, absolutely better at what we do. And I think that Superpath is one vehicle for which we can do that. We're starting to look at hip replacement now rather than a terminal procedure, which is what we did back in the 80s. And we would wait until they were so bad that they could only do it once. And once you did it, that was it. You know, you didn't want to do a revision. And now we've got technologies that allow us to not only let those implants potentially last longer, we're not sure of that yet, but potentially last longer, but we, we also have technologies that allow us to do revisions easier, replace it with bigger implants if necessary to replace bone, or simply better follow-up so we can catch it before it becomes necessary. What Superpath empowers us to do is it allows us to maintain hip replacements, and that's something that we have not had in the past.